What's up everybody, Crypto Coding here and I'm back with another video. I know it's a really really long time since I created a video because you know what? This is called this is thing called school, okay? So I wanna I wish you guys a happy new year and I'm <clears throat> pretty excited to create a new video. So what we'll be creating today, we'll be actually completing our NPC because it took me a lot of time and it's a lot of code, okay? So if you don't have any really prior experience, I recommend you don't watch this video. So this is what we'll be building as you can see our NPC can follow yeah So if I do this and he she can follow us pretty easily and if I go over there Come And you can change the distances no problem uh, Actually changing the distances and that's what we will be doing today So you recognize that we have a, a follow script now the follow script got a little bit bigger and it's got a quite a bit of you but I'm in the player's script that's because I'm an idiot so go to the NPC script and then we'll go down and yes this is the script you need to code so there's a this is this is the follow script yeah so you have to first remove or whatever had in whatever we had like gay coding to the movement first is the uh, x and y x x uh, x axis is really really simple so what we are checking here we're checking that if our position distance to between the what to follow the global position is less than the follow distance so we are less than the, than the follow distance so we'll go down uh, if we are doing this we want to execute these lines of code we're checking for x and a y axis because the distance can be x and also y axis so for example if it's not we just a motion equal vector to zero and if we are not moving we know that we just need to stop it and then we need to check that movement so if it's work left you need to say idle left if it's work right then I idle right and if it's work up and then this is idle up so this is what we are doing now <laughs> the main thing come over here so I'll explain the x-axis first x-axis a little bit here so if the global position dot x-axis do the what to follow because this is out there global position x is less than it means it's in the, it is less than we know that we need to we need to right we need to go to the right the direction because we are close to the left so we need to, to actually come close not to far, go far apart we need to go come close that's why we'll just write so and if it's it's uh, greater if the our uh, this is a this is our what position this is our NPC position and NPC position X axis is greater it means that we need to press left so that's basically what we're doing we are actually writing it and then we have to play the left animation which is walk sorry right animation which is walk right and then we are saying animated play uh, movement and minus speed multiply this is make sure that everything works uh, we synchronize as and speed multiply is a variable just simply as that it's not something that you need to do that so uh, what type of what variables we are using we will go up and let's see we're not using the stop distance because the stop distance doesn't even work I don't care so we're using the follow speed and the follow distance now this is a distance that the uh, NPC will follow you it, you can change it through the inspector view or yeah, inspector view will and this is basically it for the variables let's go down and the main thing came when you got the y-axis now the main thing what happened in the y-axis we need to check that if it's floored now uh, so what's the what's the reason we are doing this because uh, if you don't do this the game engine will think that we are going to the left or right or we are going to up it, it basically it, you, this game engine will mess up so we need to make sure you it don't so we are checking for if the floor floor what floor returns let's hit control and click on floor floor returns the rounds to be the closest small integer returns so a is 2 a is minus 3 so as you can see floor to minus 299 so it will give you the the closest and roundest close number closest round number that's what it will do so we'll just save that up okay so we we'll do that so if we are same this this script is same so if you understand just this it will be fine so what to follow is a, a parameter by the way it, we are going we are just saying that what to follow it's the player we can use it as much time as you want so that's why I used what to follow the position 
So it's y is less than is the floor. So if we it's it's because we need to go to the down. Both both is doing the down, but we need to check specifically that it is for the down axis and this is for the up axis. I think I can be wrong because it took me a lot of time and a lot of effort to create this script because you know it's uh, it's itself is how many a lot a lot bigger than you expect. So uh, I actually I'm gonna actually put this code the whole code. In the description so what you need to do is when you find the code you need to just go to the follow and then you need to pass in the player underscore player that's what you need to do simple as that now remember that the follow is a method or I should say function function that takes the uh, what to follow the, this this thing must be a a node this thing must be a node that's what it's what it is so yeah this is basically it and you can change up and round, play around with the values to make it look like this and make sure that this thing called anim player now what is this this is a basically animation player which is on ready var animation player get node and animation player so that's what we are doing here we are just say uh, we're getting the node animation player so make sure you put these lines to your NPC script because it will mess up I, I I understand that how much can you need to code on so thank you guys for watching I'm gonna see you in the next video peace